episode 52 so you guys are a year into this man yep so one more week for you episode from dan huh <laughs> one more for me <laughs> yep yeah and you got to be on your best like you got to be in rare form for your 100 year i mean 100 your one year I was, episode i was gonna start yelling at you because you came in i came in and you instantly started asking me podcast topic questions how i'm doing am i feeling better that's the stuff we're supposed to talk about on a podcast. I know. It's, That's why I pushed record. I said I better 50, push record before it gets you've mad. You've done 51 of these. I've missed two. You've missed. How many have you missed? Me? Like seven or eight. No, not really. No, no like know. three maybe, right? Probably. Joe's missed one. one. And you think yeah. after all those, we have a lot of experience now in this last year. You think that yeah. both of you could just maybe just think about what you're going to like – Hey guys, let's not like have a conversation before we start having a conversation for the next hour and a half because we we never have a topic that we talk about. We never have a freaking title for this stupid podcast. Well, we, we, it looks like we have one this this week. Yeah. I left it blank last week. <laughs> I fixed that. Don't worry, we took care of it. We got yeah. her done. <laughs> I even told you during the podcast to to put a title. I yeah, totally I, forgot. That. I didn't know. I, I totally forgot that you did say that, but after I saw no title up there, and then I figured. Uh, I told you guys I, the whole episode was me whining, and now here we, we are, just one week later, and I'm sitting here just uh, now. I'm complaining again. You're just very critical of us. You're very hard on us. I mean, we well be, because okay, because you guys don't do anything you say you're going to do. Well, I'm going to defend myself whether it's right or not. I'm going to do it. Like, I don't know if you're going to make a title or not until the next morning when I wake up and if there's no title. Like, I don't know. When I'm in the episode and we're recording the episode and I say, you guys need to figure out a title for this episode. And then I I literally was, I was, I was, I was down in the dumps and, and I didn't even want to do the podcast last week. There's nothing more that will bring you out of the dumps is figuring out a title for this podcast. All right, for this one, did you say it? I yeah. need to change it. To, it says we actually made it one year, but it's because Joe and Joe and Dan made it one year. J- Jimmy has one, has one more week before he yeah, pushes his way onto the could, podcast. We could be fired by a year. A, I don't even. I was gonna check the dates. Is what's today? Today's the fifteenth. Which my mom just texted me and she asked me if I finished my taxes. She just noticed the date and I said no. So I got to do that. So you didn't. You didn't finish your taxes no, yet. No. Can I do another extension? Am I allowed to do that? I don't know. I finished you that. Oh, you're still, you did an I found an extension. You, you, so you're looking for the extension of the, the April. Extension. April Dan was very excited about October Dan getting it done. <laughs> <laughs> now October Dan is a little. Well, after last week, I'm just I'm sitting here. So after last week, after last week, I was, you know, kind of. I did say I, I had a lot of nice comments. When I finally, I, I didn't look at comments till probably when we got done here. We recorded on Tuesday. I crawled into bed and I stayed in a bed for till the next day. And then I didn't even look at the. I delete at one point. I deleted YouTube off my phone during the <laughs> during the night. <laughs> on accident or on purpose? No, on purpose. Like I just was like rage. No, I just I I told I told you guys. I've been telling you. I told you guys for a while. I was in the dumps, and then I was like, I can't even handle it. So I deleted it for a whole Why day. YouTube? Huh? Why was YouTube the one that got the X? I don't understand what happened with YouTube. Well, YouTube and like the YouTube studio. I didn't want to. Uh, I, I just needed a break from. I just need a break. I, I watched Monk. I was sick. I, I got sick this whole week, too. But I worked. I, well, first, I have. If I, I think I just said I had really nice comments. I appreciate it. Thank you. Because then I'm going to. Because I'm going to rant and forget about what I was. I wanted to make I sure. Mean, everybody, everybody's really nice. Our, our I would say really Jimmy. Nice. I, I was complaining. Nice Jimmy, Jimmy said he was going to check in on me all week. Until until I said I was gonna feel better, that lasted two days, and then he just forgot about it. it. Joe, I've been busy. this is the first time I've talked to Joe since we recorded last week. This is the first time I've talked to Joe since last week. I talked to you in the text. No, I didn't see it. One text. I remember asking you guys for some help on Sunday, and I heard chirps. I was trying to get some help no, on price. Me, me, I, I didn't know what that was. Never even heard, never even heard of it. You ever heard Sunday. of Google Lens? Did something on Sunday. Yeah, you responded to go. I was uh, I was I was gonna pull it down for the people that are watching. Oh, but, that's it, right. but the people that are watching, they can they can feel like close your eyes because I'm gonna, the, the listeners are gonna hear. This is what they usually. I can't show it. I had a uh, it's a it was a Tasmanian Devil Marriott uh, Great America 
bank oh, yeah. and it is vinyl. And I've learned from watching a lot of uh, YouTube videos, um, I, I, I want because I know Joe sold one of these for Tasmanian Tasmanian Devils is like a huge collector item. So I found I found this stupid thing at the bins too, and it's like vinyl. It's like plastic little bank, and it, it weighs like four ounces. So and I'm I I found it at the bins, and I was carrying around the bins like. Do I really want? Do I really want to buy this? Do I want to buy it? it? It's seriously like fifty cents, you know. But I was trying to. It was a bank, and it looks like a piece of junk. Feels like a piece of junk, but I thought it might be worth some money, so I bought it. And then I, I just, Great America, right? Yeah, Great Marriott, America and it says Marriotts, whatever that means. Like Marriott. Is there Hotel. more than one little Great America? I, I knew I went. I grew up going to the one in Northern California. I believe. No, they, when I asked for the help, that's the, that's the response I got from Jimmy. I grew up at Great America. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I grew up growing there as a in child. That, I don't know what the in that voice, word. the Jimmy yeah, and yeah. that voice. Yeah, that was oh, his my. voice. Let me hear it again. I can't. Remember. I can do it again. <laughs> Whatever. That was that was help. Now you know that it's in, that I grew up. It didn't help there, me. So that was just know. something about you. For the last yeah. fifty some episodes, I heard about how you grew up so poor, but now I found out you're going to Great America. It was you a said huge you couldn't read, treat. you couldn't do math. I'm gonna give my mom listen, so I'm gonna give her props. Like we were poor, but she saved up to get us season passes one season. Now I feel America. like a jerk. You didn't tell me your mom listens. I was just giving you a hard time. <laughs> yeah, my mom <laughs> bought us season passes to Great America one season, and it was an epic season. We went all the time, had a blast. But I was a little kid. I mean, I I don't. I don't do roller coasters now. They're not very friendly to me. So your your mom will can she can comment and, and confirm that you can't you couldn't read or do yeah, math. She, she's the one that she's the one that like I didn't realize when I was in school. She's the one that told me as I got older. Like yeah, they you you they had to retest you and all this stuff, and you had to like in second grade they had to pull you take you out of the class and read teach you how to read because of your dyslexia and stuff. So yeah, I mean she's the one that explained to me that I had this stuff. I didn't really realize it in the school system they really explain it to me they told my mom so no Anyways. way to go dan you can verify all you're, that stuff you're, you're making fans everywhere dan yeah i don't know mother i was trying to be i was trying to be me now i feel like a jerk that's all right yeah. you know, whatever I feel like a jerk. so yeah. well i mean i do i guess i should put in, i should have chimed in a little bit like i i sell amusement park stuff i've sold um cedar point stuff what's knott's berry farm like that stuff sells, yeah. That that's so it's got to have a value. Well, I, I just I don't it. know that exact one. Like, well, anyway, I would anyway. so I would look up comparables. Like, well, what was the one I, I sold a dragon bank from? Oh, I don't remember the name of the place, but it was a it was a theme park, and it was a it was like a coin bank, and it, I think I got like thirty some dollars for it. I don't remember the theme park though. I sold a few uh, Six Flags pins. Which I was surprised about. When I bought them, I thought they were Disney pins. To be honest, yeah, and the Taz—that's sweet. So, so what did you what did you end up listing it for? So in my head, okay, so I, I Google lensed it, and on eBay there was like a Tweety Bird listed. I found a Bugs Bunny, and Tweety Bird sold for like seventeen or eighteen, and and Bugs Bunny was listed for like nineteen something. And then yeah. uh, I saw some other, um, not comps, like not even the same thing, but like. I saw some crazy priced Tasmanian Devil ones, so I was like, "In I, I asked for help, and, and I text I text the group chat that I do with Joe and Mike too, and uh, they they neither one of them helped me out of there at all either. Um, just you know, thanks, thanks, Mike, thanks, Mike. Mike doesn't even listen anymore. You know, we started this podcast a year ago to get Mike to do a podcast with us, and he, he listened for like seven episodes, and then he's not even here listening anymore. I don't know why we continue because we have great listeners." We get stuck with Jimmy though, but Mike, the offer's still there. You know, you can still hop in, and if you want to hop in on fifty three, hey, that would Jimmy be amazing. Might not make it one year. Jimmy might not make it that, one year. So oh, man, could you imagine if the fifty third episode was me, Joe, and Mike, and Jimmy's just like, sorry, <laughs> next week you see him on another podcast. He's like, oh, episode <laughs> one. <laughs> You can quote your idol. You're fired. Oh, sorry, say hello. Episode one. Episode one. Could you imagine? How many episodes did you make it on that other podcast you were on? I don't know. More than this. This I is think Joe and I's episode. I can go, so we I can, can go I, check right now. Like 60-something, I think, right? Yeah, I don't remember. 
Sorry. Uh, so I don't we, want have to the, we have to make it past that hump too, because we almost didn't make it. I, I don't know if, if we had the long-term l- listeners here, this, this podcast almost didn't make it past. What was it? 18A? We only missed one week. Uh, we've only missed one episode too. And yeah. it was, it, and that, that was the week that we quit the podcast too. I don't know. It was we. Maybe well, two of you. We, we as in me wow. and me and Dan. I saved it. I wow. saved the podcast. Like episode seven. I made it to 70 episodes on that other podcast. Did you really? Uh, so yeah. We got a while yet. Oh. I thought we I thought Joe and I were gonna like I'm sorry. You got, I'm sorry. What um you could go back to that day when I called you and was like, hey, you I would miss it. For, like new phone, who's yeah, this? that call would be blocked. That phone number would be blocked, call would be blocked. Oh man. Yeah, it would be I don't mind doing it with you. I, I mean, Joe I, would still talk to me though. I think Joe would talk to me, I, but damn. If I could not. if I could go back and change one thing though, maybe that you stop hitting your microphone. Just I just had my I'm grabbing my <laughs> pen. I was just holding my microphone and I was like, I'm I already know. So I'm grabbing my pen. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that dang microphone is I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh I got rid I, of the fax machine. Yeah, I don't mind what doing else? the podcast with you. I would prefer to do it with Mike, but that's you know I can't get Mike to listen to the podcast. That's your yeah, buddy. Mike, your Mike's done with the podcast too, so he don't yeah. even listen. I don't, I don't mind doing the podcast with you. I prefer doing it with Joe, but I don't mind doing it. I, yeah, I can do my own podcast. I do, I'll do See, episode look, you, one. You, you just you just said somebody that's not even on the podcast. And yeah, I but like, I've been cool. an emotional wreck for the last week. Um, all yes. joking aside, Dan, I really enjoy doing this podcast with you. Uh, I was on the Reseller Information Network today, and I believe Kevin I was called you. Where, e- when were you on? I didn't Eeyore, you. You're the Eeyore of podcast hosts. Who oh. said that? <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Eeyore. Said, okay. I, 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 like I love Eeyore. Like Eeyore in demand. There you go. I did. Well, I did, okay, so that's my biggest. That's Last week, I did not feel like filming. Like, I didn't feel recording. I didn't feel like doing it. That's the hardest part about doing it. And then going back a year ago, I remember sitting here telling joe hey joe we can you know i was thinking we were going to record like one or two like two episodes in a week and we could take a week off and then when i felt like like call up joe be like hey joe let's just do a podcast and I'm like okay and then he would he would jump in we do a podcast and I, I i like having to be here tuesday at this time to record drives me nuts sometimes and today like i got okay so i feel better like i don't feel great but since we since we got done with the podcast last week I, I, I shut off. I didn't pay attention to uh, YouTube. I was sick the entire week, but I listed, I've listed six days in a row so far. Today, nice. today I've already been up and listing. Uh, I have six done, I think. I have to do, I need to make four. So I'm only listing like my, I, I do, I'm doing 10 listings a day. And uh, <clears throat> I have four more I need to do, but I have to take pictures. I was trying to take pictures of my 20 yesterday, so I didn't have to worry about it, but I didn't get to it yesterday. I got to I got to sixteen, and I gotta go find four more things to list before we get done with the uh, when when I get done with this. I love it when you list stuff and it sells right away. Did you sell anything? Oh, the stuff you've been listing has any of it sold like that? Yeah, happened, right? instantly when I started listing stuff, I I started selling stuff that I listed. I, I sold yeah. a uh, pair of uh, Lems Lems shoes. You ever heard of that brand? Lems Lems L E M S. No, I have not. Um, Lems. Lems. That sounds like an old person's candy. Like, I eat Lems. I'm gonna Lems drops. <laughs> they're like an outdoor. Um... I sold two digital cameras that I just sold. Yeah, you know what, Joe? Like... We're talking about me right now, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. <laughs> you know what, Joe? <laughs> Lems. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Those are kind of ugly. Great, great anymore. sale, Dan. Huh? Great sale. You don't even know what they sold for, do you? $34.99. $29.99. I sent out an offer and I sold for $44.99. Oh, nice. I had them listed. I and and I was very I, I, I was sending out offers too. Like I listed them for fifty and they like I think they sold the next day or two. I was just sending out offers because I was like, I just need I just wanted and I was I was listing stuff and some stuff I'm like, oh, I probably could get it for probably should list it for a little higher and I was listening for a little kind of a little bit like kind of lower um 
and just trying to get just trying to get stuff sold. Doing all those things we talked about last week to get sales. I don't remember what sales. we talked about last week. What did we talk about? Oh, you're just doing all that's good activity. You got a list, oh. send offers if you want to run sales, like all, any uh, any activity is good. Sending offers is gonna help you make sales. Good yeah. job. So I had yeah, and and uh I have um I got a lot of comments. I'm not gonna remember. I was I, I, I didn't take the time today. I was gonna go screenshot Try to remember some points that people gave me, and I, and I, um, I did a bad job, so I'm sorry about that. I was, I was, Based on some of the comments, I'm surprised you deleted YouTube app and not the whatnot app. Oh, that's what yeah. I'm just gonna get at. I have, um, I kept on. I was supposed to have a show this. I, I've rescheduled my show, my card show for my card every day, and I'm supposed to have one tomorrow morning, and I'm rescheduling it uh, because I just don't have time. Like I've just, I put eBay first. eBay's my priority. Um, yeah, that was a lot of the comments was to go yeah. that yeah that's a lot. and it goes i just constantly i say it all the time on here though i feel like there i could make some money on there but it's just like it's the same thing with uh i, I as much as i enjoy it oh there was a so it, it was the a couple people made comments and then i was giving you a hard time about the hobby my card hobby and uh i it, it like clicked with me after a few people said something about that it, it like literally and i even mentioned it when i first started messing with cards was that I'm going to get obsessed with it and I can't be obsessed with it. Um, and it, it kind of, it is my hobby. So I'm sorry, Jimmy, that I guess it is my hobby. I, I enjoy that you pick on me. About it. I've just, I only say that because I, we all know people in that have been resellers and we're doing well reselling that found sports cards and like went full in on them on, and kind of put reselling to the side and I don't think it was the best decision for some of them. Like, if it weren't, you know, like if they were just sell, selling and flipping and cards only, some of them it was not a wise decision to go all in. Yeah. So that's kind of yeah. I've I've messed with it a few times um, while I've been doing my reselling. But when it go, like I got thrown into doing full time reselling. I lost my job and I I was doing it and. <laughs> Before, when I was working, I like wanted to quit my job. I, th I mentioned it, on here, right? That I, I like walked yeah. around with my my resignation letter or two week notice in my pocket, <clears throat> thinking I was gonna like make it. I was like dead set. Like there's just like I didn't hate my job. I just didn't want to go. And I like when I finally started doing this full time, I would have never made it. I would have I like got lucky by like I got laid off and I. I got a severance package, so I was able to give me that buffer zone. And got that, that golden me. parachute, huh? Huh? Got that golden parachute? Yeah. Is that what you call a severance package? Yeah, a, a really good But that good didn't one. even help me then either. It was when my severance package was about gone, and I was like, oh, shoot. Like, I'm not selling enough to survive. Like, I'm, I need to, like, figure out. It's all, it's all, every like, reselling's all, or, I mean, it's like math. It means math. Like, it's just, you need to, you can't expect to make like $500 in sales today if I'm listing 50 bucks. Like I used to get, yeah, like, like, yeah. yeah. And so then that's when I switch out Commonwealth picker, Kevin, he, he always would talk about like, if you want to list, if you want to sell 300, you got to like list 300 or like list 500 or whatever you got to, you know, that may, I mean, those might be a little drastic. So I would, I'm I moved, not good at math, but that sounds right. But that's what I, so that's what I started. Cause I would list, I'm like, Oh, I listed, I listed 20 items today, but they were, like six, they're like sixteen DVDs for four dollars that no one's ever buying, and then four like game board pieces, and think I'm like gonna make it. And then it was when I switched and I started doing clothing, and when I started hitting trying to hit those, uh, listing those the dollar amounts. And but I've switched back now to items because usually I don't, I I mean I will list something less than like ten fifteen bucks, but like fifteen feels good. I always hear people yeah. talk about 15, but that's like, I mean, anything less than that, unless it's super easy, like I'm not listing that. Um, I've had a few things. Not all of us can be Joe listing $100 items left and right. Oh, I know. Yeah, Joe. Uh -uh. But so so now the, I don't remember where I'm going with all. I don't remember. That's no, like, I know where you're going with this. Though. I don't remember what I was saying. You're, I mean, I've always said it. Like, <coughs> this. You, we, you don't see, I don't, I, ever since I stopped doing my what sold and, and actually talking to the camera and talking a lot, 
Like you don't see like Kevin does a really good job, but I would you know I would encourage Kevin to like this is a lot of work. Like do a video that this is way more work than most. If you want to do this full time and make a full time and pay your bills with it and have a full time income with it, it's a lot of work. I've always said a lot of it's enjoyable work. The sourcing, so, you know, some some of the pictures. Oh, you thought, okay. Favorite. But you meant like the you were videos. kind of going down that road. Like you have to put in that effort. Like you can't just quit your job and go sit on the couch. You go, you quit your job, you go work in your store. And I here's here's some one thing I've always said. Like if you owned a brick and mortar store, I've said this a lot of times. If you owned a brick and mortar store, and you only put two hours a day into that store, it's going to fail. So if you only put two hours into your eBay store every day, it's not going to make a lot of money. So treat it like a brick and mortar store. Go to your store and work and sell stuff. So yeah. you gotta you gotta put that time in. Yeah, I don't think I could. I mean, I don't think I'd be able to find the amount of inventory that I would need to be full time. Like I think that's the biggest. Th- you know, that has a lot to do with it too, where people think it's about going full time. Yeah, I think you have to travel a lot. Yeah, and having the time to do it. You know what I mean? If you're traveling two, three hours to go to a certain place that has, you know, those things and it's two or three hours back, that's six hours of your day. Yeah. You know, then you gotta come home. I like sourcing, but I hate I hate I hate going out if I if I need to like unless I have stuff ready to list, I hate going to source because I I, I go source and then like some days it might take me 30, 35 minutes to get to the store, then you're at the thrift store for hour, hour and a half. And then hour, hour and a half hour to get home. I mean, you're, that's a lot of time that you don't, I, I don't, you don't have. And then I'm tired. I want to take a nap. <laughs> I'm, I'm the opposite. Sourcing for me is so enjoyable that sometimes I do it too much and like, or uh, like I, I spend too much time doing that so I don't list enough. Uh, and don't... my body is getting like I need to lose weight because like it's a lot of times for me it's like I source talk. Like, my hips hurt, my ankles hurt, oh. my knees hurt, and I can't walk. Oh, like I need to tell myself, you got to take a day off from this going out and sourcing because your body is like in in pain, like you're oh, hurting you yourself. Pain. So you I know, I, I, and I know Dan can re- can relate. So like, but I still enjoy my mentally. I enjoy it so much. That I'm always I got. I always feel like, like today when I'm I out and find good stuff. Working. I'm like, oh my gosh, how much stuff am I missing? I haven't left that. I as I haven't left the house since last Monday. Like I mean, I, I I went to like the went to the grocery store twice, and I went to like the post office, but I haven't left. I haven't gone sourcing. This is like the third week in a row. Like my, I feel like I'm like behind. See how slow no, my you're clear on my end. Like my hand you feels like it's going really. You don't slow. want to do the test again, do we? Hmm? No, no. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, really. I, I I I love I love the sourcing end of it. I, you know. I, I sorting stuff out and getting stuff organized down here. I don't mind it. The thing that I hate the worst is the listing part of it. Yeah, I hate I the picture it. taking. God, I, I hate listing. the measurements of clothes. Oh. I hate like, but it all has to be done. You know I what think, I mean? I think that's a, some, yeah. I just wanted to ask Joe, like, let, you know, obviously it wouldn't, it wouldn't ha- it w- it's not going to happen. But if you had to go, like, let's say there was a situation where you were like, I have to do this full time. It's the it's the situation I'm in now where I like big city man like I've experienced both I would be like I'm gonna think about moving to a small small t- rural uh, area I would have to, I would have to cut cost of living expenses like figure and something the picking out. is better too out in these rural areas too so like you if you moved out of to a rural area you could probably do better picking and cost of living yeah I would have to change my whole you know what I mean I think. I mean, that's just, I think if something happened with the, my job that I'm at right now, I think I would have to go and my first, you know, my first thing I would have to do after that is try to find another job yeah. just to keep me afloat right. for that, you know, little bit of time. I don't think I could ever jump into this full time just based on the amount of, I mean, I know I would have more time to do some things and, and source and things like that, but I just don't think I would be able to find the amount of items high quality items or well, high yeah. dollar items. If you don't think you can find enough items, Joe, you can always go to shopcommons.net. Yes. And they're doing a live show right now, but it'll I know. Be over by- this is like the second or third time they do a live show and it's they start it right when we we're supposed to be recording. And right. I had a fifty two week contract. That's why Dan doesn't want to be here. Today. 
I had a 52 week <laughs> podcast, so I'm a free agent after today. Oh, oh, you are. You're a free agent. Oh boy, Here I'm we a go. week to Here week. The I'm comments. A, I'm a week to week member of the Reseller Leftovers podcast. I know a podcast that will offer you a contract. Pocket change. <laughs> <laughs> How great was that name? It sucked. Sorry, no offense. <laughs> Well, it sucks because we stole it from someone else. Yeah. It's a great, yep. it's a great sticker and a great name right there. Why'd yeah. you cover me up? Because you're not part of it, I Dan. You I'm said self-proclaimed or self-whatever that you're not part of that podcast. I know. You never were. I never Even were. though if you go back to the old episodes, does, do our thumbnails say it in any of our old episodes? They say it like across the top of the episode. Oh, they do, huh? It uh, says pocket change. So does that really count as a year? We haven't been reseller leftovers for a year. We weren't pocket change for like. We didn't have a name for a month, didn't we? <laughs> we didn't have we always had. We came up with leftovers the like the within five minutes of of uh, Jimmy giving us a spiel why you should join the podcast, and we we're still like, you know what? Let's see what Mike says first. <laughs> I don't know if it went that way, but it sounds good. I don't know if I want to thank Mike for saying no or not. I haven't decided. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah, you, you should be mad at Mike, Jimmy. I should be mad for saying no. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mike. See Whatever. what you did. Oh, so, okay. So, go, I, I I I kept on putting off my card show just because I've, I've been doing a lot of work. I was cleaning shoes. I cleaned, like, the Wednesday and Thursday last week. It was like so nice here. I was outside cleaning. I cleaned like twenty some pairs of shoes. Sick as a Ooh, dog the out there. Huh? Was the neighbor watching? Was the neighbor watching you clean shoes? Uh, no, the not this time. No, I didn't. She she wasn't sitting on the uh, the one wasn't sitting on the. Uh, <laughs> we all know the neighbor likes to watch you clean shoes. Did you pick up any of the sticks? It's no, at the time of year, like mm. where all the. How many no. shoes did you clean up? Like, so how many? Shoes, what, like, how much you get done? I cleaned like twenty-one pairs, but I, I have a, I have a, well, I got a pair of boots right here. I had a pair of boots, area boots that I got. Oh yeah. But they mm-hmm. have like I didn't the camo. I didn't see it when I was cleaning. I went to go. I, I went. To, there's like there's all these like little hairs in the inside. I don't think I'm gonna just. I'm not messing with that. It's a bunch just of hairs. List it and take a picture. You think so? Wrap your hand, reverse and tape, and just. I tried that. I've I've had so many pair area boots. Like I had, I I had another pair of boots like that too. It was the same thing, and I just ended up. I can't. I'm like, I can't. I can't list them. I'm like, I'm not. Take one of those. I guess. I got. I've tried it. Like dog hair, or was it human hair? It's dog hair. I think it's dog hair. Yeah, that could be horse hair. It could be. Could be. That's true. It could be Uh any. Kind of. I honestly don't know. It's just a little, little. I don't know. It's just a little hair. So uh, I had shoes. I have shoes right here. I'm, they're in a bag. I need a. I need to bag them and and uh, put them away. Where do you? Listen, did you tell us where you picture? Oh, sorry. Wait, wait. Let's them take pictures of it and just price them a little bit lower. Where do you picture your shoes? Because you picture your the clothes on your bed. Where do you picture your shoes? I have a. Sh- uh, I have a oh, shelf shoe. right here. Um. I don't, here. No, I you don't have this. Yeah, like a little. You can't see. You can't show. see this on the audio. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's where you take most of your pictures, then. Yeah, anything that's not clothing, unless it's little baby clothes, I'll take little baby clothes over here. Or if it's something really big, I'll take pictures in the over there, like a bag or something, because uh, um, the lighting sometimes is pretty bad. Right there. Which I saw. I was watching a TikTok, and this guy has this attachment on his phone that has like another light, and I might. I'm gonna try to figure out. Where he got that at? Probably Amazon. I've seen that too. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're taking. What I'm like, I want much... I'm like, I need that. I think it like goes. It like it's like a circle right around the camera, right? It was like a big With like clips on. Oh, it was cool. I need to look it up. It was like one of those guys we were talking about, like a younger younger guy, and it was like day in the life of a full time reseller. And he's got he goes into this office. He's got like he's got a standing desk. He's all. I mean, I'm sitting at a at a shelf. He's got the standing <laughs> desk. He's got one of those like. I don't know superhero computers like Batman, where it circles around oh, and he's standing yeah, yeah. there doing the this, Batman. printing up all the stuff. And he's got pictures and everything, and then I'm looking at right, my stuff. I'm like, "What the heck? Do I got? I got <laughs> what do I got going on here?" But I did. Oh, I I saw so clean twenty, Batman, I cleaned back, 20 some pairs of shoes. I per I per, you can't tell. I did purge some stuff and, and donated stuff. 
And like right. literally, if I didn't want to mess with it, I'm like, I'm done. I'm not doing it. Someone someone told me to do that. Like, just get rid of it. Don't want to see it. So I did that. I have turned down probably four or five raid trains, which I feel awful because I never say no. My mom's constantly say no. And I'm just like, I can't. And then, and then I want to give this person like a big, like, I'm sorry, like blah, blah, blah. And then I was just like, I'm unavailable. Like, because it mentally I'm unavailable. I don't want to mess with it. The, the stress yeah, of it. I mean, it's nothing personal when you do it. Like, you're not personally. I feel like I'm like... bad because I'm like, oh, I could. Like, there was uh, one I wanted to do. I did it a few weeks ago. I liked it. Was the uh, it was like jokes, puns, and stuff. Yeah, um, I remember that one. It was they, yesterday, and I'm like, I could do it. Like, it was at 7:30 at night. Um, I just didn't have anything ready to do it, and I just don't have. I just don't have any place to put it. Anything. I I've, I was working on stuff, so I had a plan of what I was working on. So it's like, okay, like I would love to help you out, but I like, I just, I, I need to like, just do like I, at seven thirty at night, I wasn't doing anything. Like I was like, I'm not doing anything. I could try to make a few dollars, but I'm like, I'm going to stress because I got a show, but I'm like, I end up starting thinking about, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to sell? What am I going to do? And I'm like, oh, I could just do that. But, and then I'm going to have to move Man. everything. I had, I had stuff sectioned out how I was working so I could get my stuff done. I'm really going to, I'm going to challenge, like, I really challenge you. <laughs> this is like, not even joking. Like, I really challenge you to keep, uh, sorry, sorry, everybody that's inviting you. I do apologize, but like, keep telling them no. And more than one week, like, keep putting this much effort into eBay for long, for, well. for, for a long time. And let's, and see the results like this, like, this is like. Let's see how much it actually does pay off to keep putting this much effort into eBay. Well, I have to continue. I can tell you. I can tell you that it pays off big time. I, I'm doing a, a card. It's a next week on Tuesday and Wednesday on Dibdit. There's a uh, um, Death Pile Picker, Mike and Kevin oh, Commonwealth yeah, Picker. Yeah. They're doing the uh, Fall Classic. It's all sports show. And so, right to do your hobby. You don't have to stop doing your hobby. Okay. Okay. No. 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 I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that now. I do my hobby. I, I edit videos. I haven't con- so and I'm continuing too. I I've uh, on top of my regular work, I started uh, yesterday Monday. I delisted. I, I have a second eBay account that I was messing with cards, and I had like 50 cards listed. I just delete delisted them all because at the time I was, I've talked to. I don't remember if I've talked about it on the podcast or it was behind the scenes. I was like. Yeah, I want to sell these. Like, I got all these cards. I'll sell them for like a buck. It'll be, and it's not worth it. So I, my hobby is I'm going, I'm listing on that account again and listing my cards because I cannot get people to buy them on my whatnot show. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to sell. I'm just going to, I have these cards. Like, I'm going to sell some of them. So I was making, uh, I, I, my plan is just to like make listings, sell either singles or lots, at least $5 to start off with like minimum i did yesterday i was listing uh i did i had some other cards that i did i was already playing i was i was debating if i wanted to just do auctions on there so i had some cards laid out and took pictures of to list them and i was going to do auctions and um i decided not to do that so i I already had planned on listing so i have some that are less than the five dollar minimum that i want to do um but uh i started listing and i'm listing i was gonna list five dollars five five cards a day on there, but I accidentally did six yesterday, so I'm gonna do six now. So six cards a day. How many sales have you gotten out of that? I got one. Well, I, I've one? got one. I, I listed yesterday and today, and I, I got one. I sold a I sold a uh, um card uh, autograph card for five bucks. Yep. So yeah. how did the, how did the purge go with getting rid of some stuff? Did you do it? Were you not listening? I was just talking about it. Uh, he he did so. Uh, no, I, I I thought you I'm got just, rid of stuff. Did you get rid of stuff? Like I did. No, I yeah, yeah up... I'm just joking, Joe. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got. I I was. I was like going through. I said I went through all my stuff and was getting rid of stuff. Yeah, I did really get in depth on that, Joe. What the heck are you doing over there? Uh, all right, I was just making sure. Did you? But you. So you had mentioned that you got stuff. I had more ready stuff to purge. purge. Did you actually go like? In the get in the car and take it. Yeah, it's, it, it, last yeah. time I talked to you, you, hadn't gone that far. I took it. I took it the other day. Yeah, well, that's I took it the other because I went to go pick up Dodger yesterday, and my my stepdad. Right, I'm on the same. I'm it. on the same page as Joe. That's what he's asking. Hey, like, yeah, actually take it. Last oh, time we talked, you hadn't taken it yet. Because yeah. that's exactly what I did. I ended up 
all the stuff that I brought back in from the yard sale, yeah. well, it kind of backfired on me, of course, but they, all the stuff that I brought in from the yard sale, I'm like, I'm getting it out of here. It was two, like two and a half big totes full of stuff. So my brother came up, I threw it in the back of his pickup truck, took it over to the Goodwill, donated it to the Goodwill. Guy came out and started going through like the stuff. He was like, oh, let's see what's all in here. And you know, I guess Goodwill? they were going to take it all. Huh? Oh, they weren't gonna, they're going to pick and choose? That's my biggest I don't, fear. Yeah, that's what it seemed like because they usually have like those big gay boards set out out front and they tell you yeah. to put like, you know, like housewares it in wasn't one. Even, oh, it wasn't even there. Before. there. It was just some random guy that was digging through. Yeah. It, wasn't, no, it, it wasn't the Goodwill. I haven't been, well, it was somebody new because I haven't been to the Goodwill in months now, but it was the old one that I went to. So he started going through like, oh, let's see what it's all back here. I'm like, I'm just taking, you can take the totes, take it all out. I, I don't want any of it. So he's like, he's like, oh, I got to make sure there's no stuff that we don't take in here. Now, the only thing I know from Goodwill that doesn't take is like baby stuff, like and mattresses and stuff like that. So I don't know what he was looking for. But uh, so he ended up just dragging it all out or whatever. So donated it, get back home. And oh, dang it, that reminds me, I'm supposed to go to the. Sorry, go ahead. I just burp. So Riley's looking for her bike helmet. He donated oh, it. Oh, boy. Donated it. She's looking for her Crocs. Donated it. Nightmare donating story. And her and a sweatshirt. They were all out. Like when we had the yard sale, she was riding her bike, and she couldn't find her bike helmet, her regular bike helmet. So she wore her baseball helmet <laughs> while riding <laughs> her bike. And it was all out there on the ground after because she was in the house and everything. So I just put everything in there. I ended up donating everything and. As soon as we're looking for her stuff. Was it a New know. York Mets helmet by any chance? No, it was a red <laughs> red helmet. So I got but a nightmare I, donating I donated story. Stuff I shouldn't have, but it felt oh, good. This is an aw this sucked. This sucked. <laughs> so we're getting ready to move to Ohio, right? And we selling stuff and we're, we're whatever was left over, like you said, we're donating. We probably took three or four car loads to the Goodwill to donate. And Probably a couple weeks before we were talking about driving across country with the dogs. And I was like, I don't want them just roaming the car. Like that's a long trip. If, if we were to like something were to happen, I want them in those little doggy seats with the, where you can latch them in. So if, like if we were off the road, or if there was an accident or whatever, they'd be a little bit safer than just roaming around the whole car. So we got two seats, one, one for each side for each of the dogs to ride in to Ohio. And they were expensive. Like they're not cheap. So going to donate, we put those on the floorboard below the back seats, and then we put the seats down, right? And we go, hey, Logan, our son Logan. Logan, can you take this load to the Goodwill oh, to donate wow. everything that's loaded in the back of it? They took the dog seats. Oof. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't find out until a couple days later. Where are those dog seats? They're gone. <laughs> Did you try to go get I, them back? I see the guy. Tried. Uh -oh. I seen the guy looking through the. I seen the, the the baseball helmet in there. I seen her Crocs. I seen the sweatshirt that she was looking. Just didn't register to me that it was hers until I got home, and she was like, and That's my so wife was like, "Did did you take Riley's stuff out of there?" All of her. Nope. She just she just got it for her birthday. <laughs> did you get in trouble? <laughs> nah. Well, I mean, what's trouble? Being called an idiot, I mean, or well, yeah, at the beginning of the show with Dan. At the beginning of the show, me and you were both in trouble with Dan. Oh, wait. oh yeah, yeah. I, mean, I just don't know how many times you got to tell someone not to do something, and they just continuously well, we, do we, it. We want to gauge how you're going to be for the show. Yeah. Well, so you're sick wise, you're feeling better. You sound better. Yeah, I feel better. I uh, feel good. I I mean, yeah. I don't. I yeah, I feel better. I I was. I was yeah, I was, I had, um, I, well, I don't, this doesn't really, I feel good. I, I, just a little bit stuffy. My mom told me to take my medicine for another day. So uh, I did didn't self -diagnose, diagnose yourself with anything this time around. No, Ooh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I like, I don't know. I just feel kind of bloated, I guess, but you know, that's the worst feeling bloated. I know I had chili for breakfast. Oh, oh well, <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, good. That's, a, that's a good idea, Dan. That's, per, that's the perfect thing to have. I looked at the I looked at the weather, and it was uh, uh last week, and I it's been so hot for so long, and it was like the first this is the first time 
It was like going to be, it's in the fifties and it's rainy the last two Monday and Tuesday this week. So I'm like, I'm making chili. So I was like, Oh, I'm going to make it on Tuesday. And I'm like, Oh, I'm like, I'm going to have it. I'm going to make it in the morning. And then I'm going to just have it when we get done recording the podcast for my lunch. So I got up and I was, I've been I, every day since I, I get up at three o'clock in the morning too. I was up today at three o'clock in the morning, listening, listening, and uh, watching Monk, listening, watching Monk. So by seven, I was like, I'm going to make my chili now make sure I get it all done because I got stuff to do. So I started making the chili. So then by like nine o'clock, it's, I put it in a pressure cooker. And uh, it's, not a crock pot. Not it, a, well, crock it's a crock pot, pot pressure cooker. Pressure cooker? Uh, like one of those newer ones that are safe. I don't know. Like back in the day, a pressure cooker used to be dangerous, man. That's oh, like, like the ones you put on the stove? Yeah, yeah. This one's like, one's like, my dad used to cook with those. They had a little screamer on the top. <laughs> yeah, I have one in the garage. It doesn't have the thing on top because I thought it was worth money, so I bought it, and it doesn't have the thing. <laughs> I probably dangerous. should throw it out. I probably could get rid of that. I, I needed to work on the uh, – I didn't say it. Last week it was tough, but I was I, I was doing my work, and then I, I purged some stuff from, like, in here. I went through – like, you can't tell – I got rid of a whole box over here that was just like whatnot stuff, and um, some stuff I listed. Like I didn't list the the most amazing things last week because I was listing stuff that I like. Like this, okay, here's the thing: is that I bought it to try to sell on. Like I thought it would be something I could list on whatnot, and I put it through a show or two or three or four, and it didn't sell. And some of it, I believe, it has some value, and so I listed on eBay. I'm like, I'll list it on eBay. Yeah. And uh, what was I saying? We were you talking about chili? Right? Let's get back to your chili. Oh, oh, yeah. about chili oh my god, women. it was oh so by like nine o'clock it's like done. So like I'm like ninth, I'm smelling it and I'm like oh my god, it smells so good. I finished my shipping and stuff, and I was getting ready to take a shower. I'm like you know what? I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm just gonna have some chili. So it's like chili beans. Yeah, I made ground turkey. I used ground turkey, uh, turkey chili, ground turkey, uh, kidney beans. Black beans, uh, two cans of um, tomato sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, a can of uh, diced Chihuahua. tomatoes with um, pe- like peppers, like Rotel, like yep. not regular Rotel, like the Aldi brand of Rotel. Okay, <laughs> we're not. I'm not. I have barely been selling anything. Okay, well, I even if I chili. was, I'm not. I'm. I'm still gonna. I'm a. I'm an Aldi shopper, right? He's shopping at my bo- yeah. my brother just bought some he went to the store and bought some uh fancy sauces from like Kinder and I was like, "Ooh, they got that at Aldi. It's really good." From who? Kinder? Kinder? Tinder? Kinder. K I N D E R. Kinder. It's like a um I don't know, they're fancy seasoning thing. You uh, you can I have found the seasonings at the Dollar Tree. Uh I don't remember. Yeah. I mean, I love when the fall season hits and I start watching the weather just and the second I see that really cold day on the I tell Sonia I'm like this is the day we're making chicken soup. I have uh, I have my during mom, during my uh, I make soup. I make a different soup. I have like four ro- in the rotation and I make a different yeah, one every week. So I have so it. So good. It's my favorite. A lot of people don't like soups. There's a lot of people out there that aren't soup people. Like I try to make a, love- like a hearty one. I make a all TikTok Itch. recipes too. The chili ones, I mean, not that it's like the oh, and I, I diced up an onion, I diced up green pepper. So I so the pressure cooker is awesome because so uh you I you, it has a saute brown feature on it. So I sauteed the uh peppers, onions, mm. and the ground turkey in there, and then you pour all the other stuff in there, season it all up, and then pressure cooker, it's like I think it's 20 minutes, but I let it then I let it go, I let it sit for a while. What does it I don't even understand that how what does it what what benefit is a pressure cooker? Like I've never cooked with one. This is faster, faster, right? Right? Yeah, it's it's More faster. Or... Like uh, it's like it, it it like chili. Chili's good. Like you simmer it on the. I don't simmer it. I before I used to make chili in the morning, and then I put it on the crock pot and let it just cook all day. Like in the from end. my mechanical days, I know things under pressure boil faster. Under pressure. So, so like it, it it takes like wow. it's faster. Like I cook my rice in there too. I don't. I guess it's like a rice cooker. Um. It just gets it's it, it like puts a bunch of pressure in there. I mean, I'm not an expert. It cooks it up and then it, it tastes like it's been cooking all day. I think I don't know. It boiling tastes like it's been lower. under pressure. Boiling point lower. You gotta let it release and stuff too, so you don't like get the so it doesn't blow up in your face either. 
Yeah, that's that's. What I I'm have done a few years ago for the Super Bowl. I, I tried a uh, Italian beef in the pressure cooker, and it was awful. I got so mad it would not cook. And Man, we gotta get it. We gotta do a meetup because I want you to make that thing Italian beef sandwich you sent the pictures of the other day. That was oh, yeah, a couple yeah. weeks. Ago. And I made one amazing. I made it a couple weeks ago too. I made another one last week. I'll too. buy the ingredients if you cook it. Huh? I'll buy the. I'll buy all the ingredients if you cook it. It's not. We also have one. To, we also I was have gonna to... make it when we were in Kentucky, but they didn't have the. Uh, I went to uh, Walmart and they didn't have the the spice packet I use. And I didn't. I don't have the. I wasn't gonna buy every spice that we needed. It was like a. Pa- the one a pa- thing Dan didn't bring with him was that spice pack. Everything uh, else he brought with. I just him. assumed. Whatever. I just assumed it would have. It would be there. It would be, and that was yeah, yeah. that was uh, my fault. Yeah, I guess. That, I, that's a, that looked like a really good sandwich. I was. was I have to. I'm going back in the. Jealous. Oh, Dan, do you do you cook any cottage cheese recipes? I'm, <laughs> no, I'm asking for a friend. Asking for a friend of mine. So. Look at that, folks! If you're listening, I'm sorry. You can't yeah. see that amazing sandwich. Um, I no. What did I just see? I just saw. I just saw like a Instagram or a TikTok of a, some cottage cheese thing. I was gonna send <laughs> it to Dave. I was gonna. Dave doesn't check. He says he always says he doesn't check his Instagrams, but I thought he might. If it was some cottage, it was some weird. It's like cottage cheese cookies or something. No, I think he made those. It was something I, I'm like, I don't. Oh, it was all these like cottage cheese bowls. It was like a taco bowl, cottage cheese. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, we talked. Dave about- just commented on our last video, on our last episode. He just commented. You haven't. Yeah, gone over and I was listening to the uh, 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 Trash Cash today, and they were okay. Do you guys know anything about the store subscriptions for eBay? Store subscription, no, like no. the the yeah, you like what you pay, like the one, the oh, one yeah. that I you mean, pay. I, I know I have one. Do you, which one do you have? The fifty nine ninety nine one. You pay for is. the fifteen fifty nine ninety nine one. Yeah, yeah. I think I had the twenty five hour one because I only get a twenty five hour coupon. Yeah, so that's what they were like talking about it, and they all pay. I don't know if Carrie did. I can't remember if Carrie said he did, but Dave and Kevin. It sounded like they both paid for like the sixty dollar one. I pay for the twenty. I pay twenty two dollars a month because I sign up yeah. for the year and it takes out twenty two dollars a month instead of twenty seven. Yeah, yeah. So I say because I'm going to do it anyway. But like, right. I, and I get a twenty five dollar coupon. A few weeks ago, they I heard them say fifty dollar coupon. I was like, why do they have fifty dollar coupon? Because it, I get like a thousand listing. I, I'm pretty sure that that you only need the if you have store like my store has twelve hundred items. And I think they're all, I think we're all kind of around that same range, right? I mean, between. How do you check? How do you check? I'm going to check right now. What? the? But I'm almost it, positive that they, they don't sure. need to pay for that. They don't need to pay that much. Let's I don't remember just, why. I used to do. I know they changed this since I, because they did change it. Okay. When so I first started. Because I never have like to pay what? for an extra listing because I was even looking. I was trying to figure out like, because I, I was like, I want to talk about this. It seems like an actually kind of a good topic because. I don't remember the reason. I, I at one point I signed up and I paid the sixty dollars, but I I only did it for a year because I'm like I never hit my number. Like I I'm wasting the money. How much more did they get? How much more did they get benefit? Ten thousand a month. Wow, they did change this. So it's ten thousand a month. But the, a big factor is the insertion fee. So like, I'd have to do the math. So if you're at the you twenty one right? ninety five a month, you get a thousand a month with that. If you go over the thousand, it's twenty five cents per listing that you're paying. So do you, you should be seeing that every time you list when you go over the thousand, Dan. So it's so okay. You so I pay my basic store. 25. My basic store, I get a thousand yeah. fixed price listings a month. Right. And then everything over a thousand, you're paying twenty five cents for. It's on my store selling promotions. It says additional. So the one says. I'm put it up here. Basic store subscription, a thousand fixed price listings. Yep. Next to it, additional fixed uh priced free insertions in select categories. I get nine thousand. So if I if I sell in select categories, okay, so right. that makes sense a lot why sometimes sometimes I'll try to list something that's not as like, but my clothes, they, I never pay extra. I've never paid extra. Sometimes it'll, if I do an auction, it'll like, oh, you have to yeah, pay 25 cents. And I'm like, why do I have to pay 25 cents to do this auction? 
Yeah, I, I did a, 20, a 21.95 one. That's the one I You don't ever pay I, I, well you only have like 500 listings, right? I, 650 right now. Are oh, you listed? Yeah, so you finally know. listed, you know. Thanks. Congratulations. Glad you can take I'd have to do the, the math. Trail. See if it's worthwhile for me to do it. I, I huh? mean I'd have to do the math to see if I, you know, I don't I, think you I'm usually 14 to 1500 listings. And another key factor is that you always have to make sure you account for is if you like if you list something and it sells before the end of the month, that you still that still isn't that's still an insertion, if you will. So that counts as towards your listings for that month. I have to pay and that, attention. I, there's a lot of things that I list and sell right away. I mean, a lot. But that's still, when you and, list it, it still counts. Time. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, it still right. counts as a listing. And so let's say I have 1,400 active all the time. That 1,400 is every month I'm getting a new listing on plus the stuff I list and sell during the month on top of that. It's probably close to... 1800 so I don't right? uh, there's probably someone that's listening because we're not we're not we're, I'm not we're not trying to be that podcast that that knows I I need to pay attention because I don't think I don't know how it works I, I remember someone explaining it to me I don't know who I have no idea who it is of why I switched down to that is because of the, the way it rotates that I didn't need that sixty dollar store yeah, so we're no I, help. It's not oh, we might be able to help. I thought you guys might be able to help. No, I don't know. Like I said, I get well, you need to hour. look into is how much you're pay, how much. I I feel like there has to be. They eBay never shows you like an easy thing to look down at the breakdown of. Yeah, I don't know because I've never had to deal with it. But you need to go in there and see if you are paying twenty five cents per listing that you list and how many and how. I feel much like I was like. Doesn't, feel, doesn't it come up when you? I know on the phone if I publish a listing, it's usually with a with an auction or whatever. It will come up yeah. that I have yeah. an insertion fee of twenty. Yeah, I never get that. Yeah, I get it once. I never, you it. never see that, man. You never see that towards the end of the month. Where it would be towards yeah. the end of the month where you start seeing it. Yeah, yeah. I, I get, so I don't know. It's been so long, and I've never had to worry about that, it because I have the bigger store. So how many listings do you get for the, the sixty dollars store or whatever? Ten thousand. And what do you get for the twenty dollars store? You get a, a thousand. thousand. So you should be at the. You should be at mine, Joe. You should be at twenty. Is that what you said you're at? Yeah, yeah. That's why okay. I just checked it. That's what I had. Then I have a thousand. I have nine. It says nine hundred ninety nine plus remaining for my additional free ones in select categories. I don't know. I I don't have to go. I mean, yeah, what categories are those? It doesn't. When I click on back it, in the come. day, they used to. Back in the day, like you used to get a notification like, "Hey, we're going to give you five hundred more free listings on top of the oh, I remember whatever those. you already yeah. have." Remember those days? So back then, I used to I used to be fine because they would always every month they would give me one every single month they would give me one, but then they that they stopped that, and that's when I moved that's when I moved up to the store, and then of course they expanded the amount a store has, and that that's been years ago that they expanded that to ten thousand, the the. The sixty dollars store used to be not ten thousand. I don't remember what it used to be, but it wasn't ten thousand. They yeah. they just recent, you know, a couple yeah. three years yeah. ago they expanded that. Yeah, I don't. And I haven't I haven't looked at it or messed with it or anything. So I, I didn't remember pay paying it. Yeah, I did a whole year. I'm like, oh my god, this sucks. And it was it felt so good to drop back down. But I I because I feel like I would notice if I was paying extra. I mean, so you must be in those select categories. You must be listing in those select categories to keep you from getting in search and fees. Yeah, I thought we'd help. I, yeah, maybe I'll try to figure out what select categories there is later. Yeah, that's the only way because again, mass. If you're over a thousand and you're selling stuff that you just listed, like you should be getting. Let's if you're at eleven hundred, you should be getting a hundred listings at twenty five cents a piece. Yeah. If you're unless you're hitting that select categories. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I had the same as you did because I have the nine ninety nine plus or whatever uh, in select categories, and I had the two hundred and fifty remaining uh, auctions, and then I have eight hundred ninety four. Like click on that select categories. Will that will show you? It's not like an underlined or anything. No, not on the app. I, I don't know. Eight hundred ninety four remaining basic store subscriptions, ones that I can do. No, it doesn't. I wonder let if you that's. Click on. I don't know. Some there has there's someone listening that's probably says we're like idiots. Like I can't believe it. But I like. I I don't. I mean, I mean, I never really thought about it. I just always just I just paid it, and then I 
I never, it That's never comes because I have, I have a thousand and then it, I like have, I've had 1200 listings for over a year. I got up to in the beginning of September, I was up to 1300. And then like, I went through my, I don't know what you call that era, the Dan, um, Dan, Danny Downer era from September until see most recently. And I dropped down to under 1200 and I can list it. I, I I can list up to fifty million. <laughs> Does anybody see that? Fifty yeah, million yeah. dollars. How much they trust you to list, Joe? If they only knew. Yeah. <laughs> here's my and here's a question. And again, if someone wants, if someone that knows answers, because here's the important thing. I'm pretty. I don't know when everything resets. So let's you're let's say you're twelve hundred active. Do they reset at the first of every month or at the end of every month? Thirty days. They reset? No, so they reset. So you but probably have day. you have what? items ending on every, every single every day. day. You, you list yeah, and they reset right based yeah. on the day you listed them. Yeah. So every single day that number changes, right? Yeah. So that's why I say towards the end of every month, that's when you would see if you're list actively listing, you would see that quarter insertion fee if you were going over. Yeah. See right now, I think mine said it had like nine hundred and three, because uh, yeah. So you haven't even touched. The, yeah, it's halfway through the month, and you still have nine hundred left. That's weird. That's a weird number though, because I've listed. That's what I'm saying. You telling me that tells me that it doesn't happen every day. That number tells me like maybe they do it because like because that makes me look month. like a liar. I've listed. I've listed. Um, it's, it's weird. Huh? I've listed Select six days in a row, and I've listed. I listed six. I have eight hundred and ninety-four remaining for this month. Let's see how much just says I have. So I've, I I've listed sixty do. items, and that's all Does been that in this, like this month. And my 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 I pay my store Where comes out the at? first. Well, that's when you scroll down right here. Hmm. There it is. It's just a big old. Man. Oh, mine just says nine hundred ninety-nine plus remaining. Because I have the bigger store. Oh, and bragging with your concierge. No way to yeah. brag, Jimmy. Yeah. When you, when you, can, you got to flex when you can, folks. Whatever. Especially around these two. What is that? What is that? I don't, know, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know. I think, you guys are big ballers. I've just I've talked about how, how broke I am. You're broke. You got a golden parachute. You said. You said you got. You left. You got a seven. A seven. Pack four years ago. Yeah, that, well, that's that's gone. Three years ago. That's not gone. Years. Yo, what? Oh man, it might be. I ah, oh, what is? It's like four years ago. Right. It might be right oh. now. Today could be. Are you celebrating your four year anniversary? It could. Be. I I was like oh, I'm doing oh, this, and I'm then sorry. I woke up. I remember waking up the next morning. I'm like, what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what to do. I was like, what are you supposed to do? Man, I remember when I left my job, I was so excited to get to go picking Thursday and Friday. And oh man, I was like, I get to go picking on Thursday and Friday. Hmm. I don't I have like, to go what do I do? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I did I, I did. Did, you, did you in your head did you think you would have this whole routine of of doing things and No, I thought and... it'd be better than I am right now, to be honest. I thought I was gonna have it down better. Like I thought, I'd actually have a desk. Maybe I'd have a standing desk instead of a shelf. I still got the same shelf. It looks just—it's got more junk on top of it. I know. Uh, I thought you'd be better too, Dan. I'm disappointed. Yeah. I'm totally sure. whatever. I'm broke too because my TikTok sucks now. I don't know what I did to break that, but I did really good my first month, and then this the second month I'm because they they like probably like nobody's oh, watching my TikTok. Okay. It's there to suck you in. It's sucking you in. They're here. like, "Oh, we got monetized. Let's give them some. Let's give them some clicks yeah, and give them some views." Them some... I can't get anybody to watch my TikTok. We'll, I know. We'll build them up. I can't scroll we'll fast enough past them when I see them. <laughs> <laughs> they're that bad. They are. We'll, that bad. we'll build them up for a month and then and then take his legs right out. Yeah, all hyped up. Did you guys? I I did notice when I did I did shipping on Saturday before before. Um, like before I went to go get Dodger and I did like a padded flat rate cost me $9 and 30 cents. And they did, did that price hike or whatever. So I thought it was like, oh, okay. A padded but, flat rate with that? Yeah. I just, sh- I just shipped this morning. And it was eight ninety five again. Eight ninety five. Yeah. Eight ninety five. I don't know I what the heck happened the other day. Well, there's, there's a, I mean, there's some, 
I know that they retail, they raise the price. To, you know, retail versus the, the deal that eBay has can always be different. Like on my post office for everybody that walks into the post office and pays their price, the retail price, they have a big sign up that the, the rate has increased for the holiday season. And then I, uh, oh, well, this has nothing to do with that. I, I paused my venue uh, subscription. Yeah, finally. Finally. Yeah, yeah, it was because I I barely the next step this I probably should have uh got this back on in some kind of plan before I started started uh, listing my cards on my other on my hobby on my hobby on my hobby uh store. It's not a store. My my other eBay account is not a store. I'm not paying for a store. I don't have the money. I don't have the money on that one, so I can't pay for it. I've I've been I've had a heck of a time trying to uh I want I want to change my um. Uh, what do you call it? My payouts to a different account for so it's my mm-hmm. hobby money. It's my hobby, so I can keep it separated. Keep track keep things separate, yeah, it's good. and uh, it, it keeps on denying. You're gonna me. open up a hobby bank account? I I already had one from uh, I have one before. Well, I said so. I said okay. Going back to that, like okay, I'm gonna I'm okay calling my hobby, but like I eventually. That's what I was saying earlier is like, I didn't know how much work. So if you get to the point where if I get the right, if I'm listing consistently on there and then I get up to right now, like like if I can, I'm hoping to get like $4 and 99 cents for the stuff I have. Like if I, and then if I, if I can work and I get more, I'm going to, I'm going to make bigger lots and do stuff. But that takes a lot of time. I've, I've, I've been sourcing from eBay for the last month on cards and stuff. And I mean, there's a lot of people that you see, they have stuff and they don't get any bids on stuff. So I don't want to waste a lot of time. So I'll, like, I'm, if I start off making some lo- smaller lots and try to build that up, but like eventually that would be nice. At what if, point do you stop calling it a hobby? Is that well, what you're trying that's to do? What, not like it's. I I would like to have that to be like if I made a hundred, two hundred bucks a, a month yeah. extra. Like that's a lot of. Money I mean, I still it. call I call YouTube my hobby and TikTok oh, what, my hobby. Okay, like that's so when I when I said that like for me it was a mentality thing. Like, how do I justify? the time I put into it. Like, well, there's I no, wish I could do that financially. Me. There's no reason I should be doing it. Like I, there's no way I can justify that. That's amount of time okay. I put on the TikTok and YouTube with the money. Oh, I'm yeah. making. So in my mind, I call it my hobby. That's the only way I can justify. Well, it. if I, I wish I could do, I would like to do my YouTube, but like it literally does. I literally don't make any money and yeah. it's, it, I mean, it sucks to say it like that, but like, at least this one, if I, if I make a, and that's kind of what, like, whatnot, whatnot is like the hot, would be like a hobby too. You know what I'm So like the least amount yeah. of work I can put into I mean, it, I enjoy it, but like, I would like to make, I, I need to still be trying to make a little bit of money, I guess. Um, and that's not a good example, is it? Like, I, I don't know. I just, I mean, before that's, that's why I stopped doing my videos. The amount of money, the amount of money that you're getting on, on whatnot for the amount of time that's i put in is, is, is not good right you could be putting listing four or five extra items over on ebay and the, making the same amount of money the card right? i just sold today for five bucks on ebay i tried selling for three dollars and twice on in in whatnot shows and no one would like bite so that was like my mentality was thinking i was like all right i got these cards i gotta do something with them now like i have someone made a comment about like like this perfect items that you have like in the, I've said that. I mean, I, I, we've. All, I mean, it's not. I don't know. If, I didn't come up with it, but like, I have ten people in my show where, if I'm lucky, it, like the chances of someone there wanting that exact thing. So what do you do? You go over oh. to, to eBay where people are looking for stuff, and then you entice them to buy it there. And then so I'm like, you know, I don't know. I what, I'm trying to find out how much I've made so far oh on my YouTube God. Oh, this okay. year. No, because it's it's nothing. It's a brag. It's not, here come, here come. I'm going to make a, a video sometime. But the but thing for, is, for, is I'm going to make a video, and then that pressure is going to be on me to feel like if I'm going to make a video and, and I'm going to want people to watch it, that I have to consistently make videos. So that's the easy part is not doing it. So then you're not being consistent. I mean, so then you don't have I to mean, be consistent. It's October 15th. So that's eight months. Eight months of YouTube videos and I took a couple breaks, couple small breaks 
But for the most part, it was, they melt you could say at least one video a week. Sometimes it was two videos a week that I edited and dropped $1,140 in eight months. So I made more than that on whatnot. <laughs> that's $140 a month. $142.79 a month. Eh, that's, I mean, I don't, that's. Not, I mean, yeah, I'm not, but the amount of time of I put in. How many, how many hours? That's a lot of work. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Yeah. How many hours do you think? Yeah. Oh, I mean, let's say it's two hours a week. Let's just say, let's say it's two and a half hours a week. So that's. Is that for real? You spend two hours? Between editing two videos, probably. It takes you two hours for real? To do two videos? Really? No, not really. No, I mean, deeper. Like, I I don't know how to, I don't, well, I guess I don't really know. I, I definitely, I definitely, I edit them fast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, two and a half hours for two videos is about right. Joe, how long did it take you to edit videos? Forever. Jimmy, did you know Joe used to do videos too? I I saw Joe? Not this Joe. You're talking about different Joe. (laughs) Joe, when's the last time you did a video? Billy Flipper Joe. Billy Flipper. Do you ever think about it anymore, Joe? I do. But so it's just not. I, I don't have the time. I don't want to get sucked back in. Yeah, that's how I, don't I, I really, I do. Like, I, I really it enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Like I feel that if if I go back to it, if I go back to it, then I don't I even know. How to, I had to reinstall. Uh, I, I I did all mine through iMovie. I had to reinstall iMovie. It, like delete it off my phone. Like that I feel really, like I, I I I couldn't get back into it because I I, I did a couple things the time wise, but I don't want that pressure of. I got to do a video. I got to do, you know what yep. I mean? Like, Oh, I know. And, I remember talking all the time. That was like the worst. Yeah. And it, it would weigh on me and it would, you know, and then, then you it would take spend all that time and you get a hundred views. It's like $3 and 56 cents an hour. I'm making on my YouTube while I'm editing. You could videos. like make shoes or something. Make more. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. If you mentality wise, I should become a shoe shine boy. I could just go. Shoe shine. Like, I'm just that's joking cool. because that sounds like, it's literally, I'm like, oh, I'll do this whatnot show for 15, 20, 30 minutes, and then I spend four hours. I could go DoorDash. <laughs> oh, you're going to bring up the DoorDash from some no, of those comments, comments from last week? got broken down in the comments that I was wasting my time, so I'm not yeah. going to go DoorDashing anymore. So, ah. Some people are very, very passionate about your... Uh... <laughs> my number breakdown on DoorDash. Yeah. Well, well, I'm sure they're going to have a lot to say about your your uh, YouTube now too. Well, they have okay. a, I mean, they're not listening this far in, are you? Are you think? Yeah, I'm sure they're not. It's again, it's a hobby. I have, I have, I enjoy a what lot other of hobbies. I, do you, you have? Know, I need some new hobbies. That's it. I don't. I mean, I, I don't have any other hobbies. I have my toy, my toy collection. I'm collecting blow molds now. I did see your, I did see your picture on there with all your blow molds. So you're not selling them? No, I'm keeping those. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. I want a bigger collection. Like I have a way bigger Christmas collection. Wait till the Christmas picture comes out. I got a bunch of Christmas blow molds. So what made you decide is that you don't want to ship them, or is it just something that you're I like them? Like do I, I buy when I when I do I buy Joseph? I own. A, I'm a homeowner now. That's what changed. I'm. A, I own a home. Yeah. How much is he? Actually, I have him. I'm trying to sell my nativity scenes oh. because I have three nativity scenes. I don't need three nativity scenes. So on, so, on. so I actually put them on Facebook today. And I put on there, we'll trade for other blow molds oh. that are not nativity scenes. I sold a. I'm, well, I wanna, you put one on the front of your house, side of your house, and the back of your I house. Sold a baseball bat. Oh, where'd you get that box at? Amazon? I Amazon or something. We talked about it when I listed those. Because you finally broke down and ordered them, so you could list baseball bats. Yeah, and the guy, like I was convinced, this person, they paid. They paid like fifteen something to ship it through Ground Advantage, and I thought for sure I only have UPS on it. Um, so Sometimes UPS Ground like, Advantage, is cheaper. huh? Sometimes Ground Advantage is cheaper. Well, Ground Advantage was fifteen sixty three, and UPS was six ninety nine or six something. Oh wow! So yeah. I I paid for UPS. Yep. And uh they're both ground, so well they so I was gonna message and you guys probably get it there earlier. Well, uh, earlier. Um, the ground advantage said uh, the eighteenth through the twenty second, and then UPS said the seventeenth through the twenty second. I have one question though. The address is not a PO box, is it? No, it won't let you buy uh it you won't let you print it. I did think of that too, because I was gonna message them and ask them 
if uh, if they wanted to, uh, if if they might. That brings me to an important question I got. What? Because I have a return on a golf club that I sent UPS ground. Oh, great. But my return address is a post office box. How does that work? Anybody know that? Like you sent it UPS ground. I, I shipped it UPS ground. Uh, they're returning the golf club because the, they said it was a half an inch longer than I said. Whatever. So they, so it's an iNet. So they'll get the they'll get the the label through eBay. Yeah, but the, if the eBay's a UPS ground label, yeah, but they'll they'll ship it through USPS. Let's go to the post office. USPS. They're going to print the label from. Doesn't e, doesn't eBay's labels all post office? It'll automatically see that it's a post office box and send it to the post and office. You're going to pay like thirty dollars. So I'm going to pay more for the shipping label. Probably. All right. That makes. That's what I was thinking, and that's why I was asking because I don't know. It's the first time I've ever had this happen where it was a UPS ground out. And it's coming back to my PO box because well, that's my return address is my PO box on them like returns. So I I uh, I send I'm sending a UPS and and I'm such a nice guy I refunded them the difference. Ooh. What was that? You did? Did you take out? I don't know. Something happened upstairs. My sons are up there, so I'm not... I charge them. I charge them eight dollars and thirty some cents to ship it because uh-huh. I I paid. I can't remember what I. I didn't. I didn't take the time to go look up what I paid for the box, but like a dollar or something. I mean, it was. I don't remember what I paid for the boxes. Figured that was the, yeah. that seemed fair. Yeah, those boxes are a little expensive. I, I, I actually, I just, I can look what I paid for mine on it. I just got a. I just got some in the other day. I, I sold a baseball bat. Luckily, I had a. Um, my son Luke got a fishing rod, and a. Uh, it was a fishing rod box, oh, and nice. it fit perfect in there. So. No, that's that, that's. I don't, I don't have any more. I don't have any more boxes. Do you have any more bats? I have another bat for sale. I have two bats. I have to list, but until I get boxes, I. Uh... Not the best season to list bats right now. Yeah. I have a bunch of baseball. What about fall baseball? Fall baseball. Yeah. Oh, fall! I didn't even know that was. A, I just I'm, listed I some cleats. There's fall baseball. So I should go list these baseball gloves I have. I have like yeah. seven. Not baseball making gloves. death piles for the seasonals. List it. Just yeah. get this I like stuff to do listed. that. Get this stuff. Yeah, hey, it works for me, all right? I've been selling Halloween stuff like crazy. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, sold no, Hall- I found a Halloween mask for... Sonya found it. Sonya found a Halloween mask for $5 yesterday or this weekend, and I sold it already for 150 bucks. so... I listed a Halloween mask last week. The Halloween mask. It's on auction right now. I got listed for 100 bucks. I think. Oh, my, I didn't have my, my, my computer's up. Plugged in, Joe. What were you gonna say? Oh, sorry. Oh, did I did I interrupt Joe? I interrupted. I did. Uh, I was going back fall baseball. Yeah, but that's almost getting over too. But I'm sure those the you know all the warmer states don't they play baseball all year round? But just think, Jimmy. If you if you listed a few, I was listing shorts yesterday. If you just listed, if you want to list more stuff and get to that next level, well, you got. If I didn't have seven hundred other things to list like for me priority is i have toys for christmas so like i got toys i got action figures and i got lego sets that i gotta count and list so i put those it's not a matter of well how about you pick up a hobby and sell some out of season stuff (laughs) yeah i should pick up a hobby that's his hobby listed stuff that's out out of season season i actually got i tried that before with with the putting stuff away for certain seasons and it just gets buried just it just, it would, I would just, you know, I mean, I put some winter or some summer clothes away and, you know, before. And as soon you know, as we got back from Kentucky, I started listing my Halloween stuff. I, I pushed everything out of the way and I listed every single Halloween item that I had as soon as we got back from Kentucky. Then after all that was listed, I listed every single Christmas item I have except for one thing that I got to test. That's a pain in the butt. Everything else listed. Mm-hmm. So I, for me, I know I'll do it. So right now, all my Christmas stuff, all of my Halloween I, stuff. I did. I was Christmas saving stuff. some. I was saving some holiday stuff for, um, for like a whatnot show. But I don't know. I might end up just listing it. I should have a Halloween mask. What? Do you think that would do any good? I got so many Halloween masks. Wait, when's your when's your pop up? When's the pop up thing you got going on? Oh, my pop up is on sa- Saturday coming up eight nine the nineteenth. I was so that like I'm busy, like Dan, you know, like you know how it can be over. Like I'm super, super busy. Me and Sonya all weekend. I built a clothes rack. 
I, I, I literally built this awesome clothing rack for a lot of our clothes. I've been pricing clothing. I pulled clothing out of my store, ended it, and then priced it for the pop up. Like it's been. I've cr- oh. this morning. I made this video on. If you go to my Instagram story, you can see the video I made this morning for the pop up. Like it's been keeping me super busy. I'm hoping it pays off. I'm kind of like Dan. I'm kind of in between right now on it. Spending all this time on it, I'm hoping it's very successful. What, what, what would be if successful not, for you? Waste of time. I would. I mean, from what I've heard and from what I've done in the past, and I'm bringing way more clothes than I did last time. I'm hoping to make a thousand dollars in in that day. I make worth it. I'm hope. I mean, I'm bringing every piece of vintage clothing I have. I'm bringing it all, and that's a lot. The only thing I'm worried about is can the tra- can they bring the traffic to actually the, the shopping traffic? That's the most important thing. The people that are the promoters, the ones that put it together, are they going to bring in the buyers? And then the second thing is there's 26 vendors. Like there's a lot of competition. So I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. The last one I went to, there were less vendors, and the traffic was there because we were on Ohio State University's campus. Like there was a ton of traffic there. Mm. So I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm hoping I've, based on other people that I did the last one, they did pretty good. So I'm hoping I can do that good too. I don't know. It's a lot of work. Let's see if it pays off. Anyways, if that's a, that's a long story, but yes, it's coming up and I'm nervous and excited at the same time. It's gonna be. It should be fun no matter what. We're just gonna. All it, it'll definitely be a topic for next week's podcast because it all gonna fit in the car. Or you have you have to rent a truck or something? Yeah, I mean it's just clothing, so it'll, yeah. it's not okay. going to be too bad. A couple clothing racks. That clothing rack that I've made, I made, I made it to where I can take it apart and put it back together pretty easily. Mm. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna take all you know all the clothes. It should be fine. Maybe a table. Mm. Should be pretty good. Mm. We have Sony has a little SUV so that the seats go down and stuff. So. That that'll be better. I can't. It won't fit in my Honda for sure. So. Is that what you're shipping your cards in? Um, that's, I bought this with my fifty dollar coupon like a long time ago. Fifty dollar oh, coupon? When I had the fifty dollar store. Twenty one. Oh, I, I I told you I used to. Oh and yeah. I bought a bunch to. of these because I used to mess. It was another hobby before I messed with the the cards. I always have these these harebrained ideas. And then, <laughs> Huh? Just... No, I got. I, I got. I actually got. If you haven't, if you guys made it this far, I got to actually go spend my coupon. I said I was going to do it early on, and I never did. I, I don't know what I want yet. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till the end of the mo- the end of the quarter when someone says, "Don't forget to use your cu- coupon." <laughs> and then one time, the one year is on like New Year's Eve. I I forgot to use it, and it was I was trying to use it. I like on like the 31st, and like something something was glitchy on eBay, and it wouldn't let me use it, and I. Timed it, timed out. Wouldn't let me use it, so that was probably. I think good. I'm gonna get the smaller bubble mailers because yeah, I. I gotta order I those. Need, I need them for the. Uh, I the told DVDs you. And- I ordered those, and I was mad. I ordered them, but now that I've got this wow. new hobby, I got the, the new, new hobby. hobby. I got the new hobby. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to use them. Mm-hmm. And I did. Oh, for my hobby, I'm. I'm a. a Tim. <laughs> Tim said he doesn't do. Uh, he doesn't do the uh, uh, standard envelope, but I, for the hobby, I'm doing it. I, I like have, I put an option that they could do both, but I'm like whatever, like I'll try it until because uh, I'm the plan is to sell some like bit like lots, so they're not gonna have that option. But if I sell a single, I, I will. Because hope I was thinking about just listing my cards on whatnot, but I don't know the foot traffic for for um for just people buying like. Uh, before before you channel. before you canceled uh, Vendu, you should you should have put them all over there on there. So well, I didn't can't, I paused it for for the month because oh. I, I keep on I keep on I pay for the subscription, and then I keep uh-huh. I don't I import my items and then I never list them all. I, I like list for like one or two days and then I quit listing. Um, until I that's what I was saying. I should have probably messed with that before I started messing with my other ebay account is to get in back into the routine of listing and catch i'm at this part where i have like 300 items to to that need to get listed over to to poshmark and 
I don't the museum Macari. Um, yeah, the museum. Yeah, does anything sell in there? Anymore? Are they out of business yet? I keep. They keep on reminding me. I have like sixty nine dollars in there because I've sold two, two or three things, and uh, they keep reminding me I have that money in there. But I don't want to cash because you'd pay like two or three bucks to cash out, and I'm trying to get to like a hundred bucks so I can cash out. Like I'd rather cash out well, at a hundred. Why don't you buy something on there? I keep. I was looking for some cards when I was in my car phase. My card phase, but your hobby, phase. my the hobby, yeah, the hobby phase. <laughs> but Those are messed up, man. <laughs> but it, I, I can't find anything that I want to buy. Plus, I because I don't want to just buy stuff, Joe. I don't just buy to buy. I don't have money to buy to buy. Well, you have a credit there. Yeah, you know, they can they can go. It's not a credit. I have so money I need, or, or or whatever you have. You have the money there. Seventy I'm bucks can give me like groceries for a week, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they, they I think a this, gallon of orange juice cost at Aldi. It's gonna go. It's gonna go up now because of the the storm. You think I it's just, made I from real oranges? News. So many oranges in Florida. It eight dollars for a gallon. All the of trees got knocked down. At, at all Aldi, got eight dollars. I haven't even opened it anymore because I, I stopped taking my medicine. My mom told me to take it another day, and I and I said I wouldn't. I didn't. <laughs> Do you drink ju- orange juice normally, or is that only because you were sick? Only when I'm sick, because I take emergency the packet emergencies. emergencies. You, you know that you know that powdered stuff. Yeah. I mix that. I mix it with my orange juice, and I and I drink it. It's Isn't good. it already orange flavor? Yeah, but it's gross if you mix it with water. Very, very I learned tart. my lesson. I list. I, and I, I oh I went out sick. I don't remember, I don't remember if this was after recorded, or when I, I went to the store. And I was like, oh, I should get some juice. I don't feel well. And I was like going to the checkout and it popped in my head. I'm like, oh, I should get some juice. And I meant like orange juice because I was going to take emergency. And I, I stopped and I looked over like right next to me was apple juice. So I'm like, oh, apple juice. So I bring apple juice home, which costs like I bought the organic stuff that cost me like $3. And I get home. And I'm like, I'm not mixing this with emergency. So then my brother, he went out. He was going to the store. So. I mean, I got a free, I got a free like gallon of orange juice from him because he, he bought it for me. And then I was like, oh, how much is it? And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. And I said, okay, good. Cause I ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> but then I had to go, I drank it all. And then I was like, I need emergency. I need to drink more because I wasn't, I was at the point, but I still had a little bit left and I wanted to be prepared. So I was at the store. I'm like, oh, I need me get my orange juice. And then I saw $8 and I'm like, I should leave it. But I'm like, I am sick. I should buy it. I bought it, and then I mean, I I'm, I feel like I'm gonna save it now because might make mimosas. I, I might make some mimosas juice. with it. Oh, Ooh, ooh maybe wow, some screwdrivers. Like What's in the screwdriver oh, box? Dang, check it out. All right, Dan. What are you getting? I'm looking. What are you up? getting all crazy over there in your in uh, your? Think, we might have to end this show, Dan. Talking about all wait, no, I have more stuff. That's I a whole other show. That's a whole other TikTok. I have. It won't take that long. We can go a little bit longer, right? Or you have to go. But yeah, for sure. Go ahead. I was. I, I don't hear about your mixed drinks. No, it's nothing about drinks. It was actually some reseller. Oh. I was trying to talk about reseller. Oh. Did we talk about reseller today? Yeah. No. Um, I was on. So I was talking about because I I paused the venue and I wanted to do. I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done it or whatever. I was like, I need to do. I need to do my Poshmark better. And I they have this thing where it said, uh, promote your closet. I've been against promoting on Poshmark, and uh. Anyway, I clicked on it, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, they'll send you something in your email." So I was like, "All right." So then I was in my email. Finally, I remember to look up my email. I looked up the email. It's like thirty-five dollars for uh, what is it? You have to pay Poshmark thirty-five dollars to promote your closet, and it's like, like it's like a I get a one week like free an automated thing. promo. Like they'll promote it for you. I don't even. I when I saw thirty-five, I think it's a week. I should have been more prepared. I'm not more prepared. But I, I don't know what's no chance mean. I'm doing that. Mean. So Poshmark, if you're listening, uh, you know, kick rocks. So I'm not paying you 35. Yeah. I think it's a week. I could be completely kick wrong. Rocks. I might be making that up. But I think it was 30 because I get like a week free trial. And it was one of those. It'll automatically charge if if you don't uh, cancel. I'm like, I'm not even bother because I'm never going to remember. I mean, can you imagine Look, paying thirty five dollars? Huh? Tell them no. Tell, just like you told those whatnot raid trains. Tell them no. No, I felt bad about that. I didn't feel bad about Poshmark. <laughs> I felt- um, I got a question. Mm-hmm. Do me and Joe are me and Joe making the title for this episode? 
I, I well, I was gonna make it something we actually made it one year. It's easy, but okay. I don't know. If, right. I think I'll switch it to Joe and Dan made it one year. There you oh. go. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike. Yeah, I don't know. All right. <laughs> Unless you got a title, you can put it up there. I thought we no, might no, have no. something I with the story. Sure. We probably should have last week. Title. We didn't have a title. We, last week there was no title, so I want to because make sure we don't talk. We don't. We don't have. We. I never know what we talk about, and I. I'm. I'm telling you, I'm going through it so constantly. You come up with a title, which are. I'm not saying this to brag. So you, you all can go back and read the titles, and they all suck. I'm not saying that they're good, but to come up with those stupid titles, I have to re-listen to my whiny voice. And Jimmy's <laughs> hitting the microphone, and Joe's like dot matrix printer going, so I could come up with some stupid title. Do we still hear so that? What, do we, do well, we Dan is that? saying, but we the, heard it. The, the, you episodes. guys come to listen to on purpose, all, all you viewers and listeners. You guys come here on purpose. Dan is forced to miserably come I, and listen. I mean, I want to listen to a podcast to enjoy it, not to work. <laughs> I know, I got you. I got you. I hear you. Well, I mean, if you do a title for this, would be something about your hobby. If it's not going to be the one year Dan's hobby, we need to figure a way out to get the to get the podcast. So maybe when we hit two years, we might have a thousand subscribers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. I apologize. I've been promoting it on my YouTube channel. I know what Joe and I did. I know you don't watch my videos, but if you go to my last video, I know. Hey, I'll be honest. I didn't watch a lot of videos. I I haven't watched a lot. I, I I watched a few episodes. Uh, a last week of a couple, and I just I'm not in the mood right now. I did I I was I, I listened to um Trash Cash today. I got like ten minutes left of that. I, I I didn't I did a bad job last week, but I just I mean I'm 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 in the middle of it. Like I'm feeling better. Me a huh. Go watch the first fifteen seconds of my last video so you can see that I did. Uh, did I Joe have to do it yet. too? Yeah, Joe too. Go check it out. Yeah, You'll see that I promote, Joe, I've been promoting it. So Joe I'm and trying. I are going to make a video. Just so you can make you come watch it. I'm gonna make a video sometime. That's a good idea. Make one. I'll put it in one of my videos. What? No, well, we we could. We, know you guys if I made a video, a video, I mentioned that we do the podcast. If I make you a video, know, I want the people at the video so I can get I can get views on my video. I don't care about the podcast. You could make your next video and could be like, "This is the one year anniversary of the last video I made." I want to wait till no, because I was I I did a I did a, some videos. Because when we did, so the podcast was supposed to be my creative. I needed some creativity going on. Oh, I enjoy the creativity. And the, I don't get that out of the podcast, I'll be honest. It, it, it looked good on paper when you put it down on paper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought the podcast would be easier than a channel. But because I enjoy hey, doing a channel, I thought the podcast would be easier to do it. And it's about the same amount of work. And this, this one, I have, to, I have to like get along with two other people. That you know, my channel is my channel. I can do whatever the heck I want. Well, I mean, we could. Have I have thought about doing my own podcast on my own channel. By well, yourself? That's like a thing. solo podcast. I don't well, think I, I can mean, make we, it by myself. I'd have to we get guests. Had three, I'd have to have guests we, on every week, and then that we could have had three thousand entirely different. And then what do you talk about? I come over here and I talk about this, and it's going to be the same thing over there. And then I'm gonna have to yeah. the pressure of finding someone to come on with me. And then I have to actually, actually reach. I, I don't bother people, so I don't want to ask them to come on with me. So then I'd have to get another. Well, maybe Mike. Free agent now. Maybe you're Mike free. would do it with me. Maybe Mike and I can do a podcast over there. Maybe we need to do a podcast. I need. We need to figure out how to do another podcast someplace to make some money because I we just. I know Jimmy uh, gave the uh, the money for the upcharge of Streamyard, which I had down. I just had to delete like five episodes on here so we could have enough space to record this one. You think if you pay double, you could get double the amount of storage space. Heck no. That's how they get you. <laughs> well, Dan, we, 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 we could have had 2,500 sub, uh, subscribers on this podcast. If we kept, if we kept a, uh, kept it on your channel. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Go. Now it's all my fault. All my fault. If it was just, if it was just, if Mike would have, my, I bet you Mike's idea would have been like, just leave it here, guys. I mean, that's a great idea, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I'm out of here. <sighs> All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us on the Reseller Leftovers podcast.